Today we will look at some very important and widely used time intelligence functions. We will implement month over month change function using calculate and date add functions. Let's start. Open a new page in design view to design our new table. First please mark your calendar lookup table as date table from table tools. Select the date field from the drop menu while marking date table. Now let's implement date add function. Right click on the key measures table to create a new calculated field. Call it last month revenue. In the function arguments write calculate function. The first argument is the expression. Write total revenue as the first argument. Then write date add as the second argument. The date add function needs three arguments namely dates, number of intervals, and interval. In the dates column, select date field of calendar lookup table. The interval will be minus one. This indicates one unit previous value. And finally, the interval is month. Close the brackets and hit enter. Here we are telling our application to fetch previous one month value. Format the last month revenue giving it currency format and two decimal places. Now let's create our new table. Select month number and month year as column fields for the new table. Simply add total revenue and last month revenue we just calculated as to the table. To analyze the yearly performance, please add year as the interactive filter. Check the year field and select filter funnel from visual gallery. You will see a horizontal movable bar on the canvas as year filter. Select 2017 as start and end value for the year filter. Sort the month number column in descending order and we are done with first part. Now you will see a nice looking table with total revenue and last month revenue against each month. Now the real fun starts. Let's write our first business intelligence function. Right click on the key measures table and select quick measure. Select month over month change under time intelligence category. It will ask you for base value, date field, and number of periods. The number of periods by default is set to one. Now it's a simple drag and drop procedure. In the base value, put total revenue. In the date field, select date from calendar lookup table. And we are good to go. You have just calculated month over month change for total revenue. You will see the newly calculated field and key measures table. Select this new field for the existing table and adjust the column width to see all the parameters of the table. Now finally you can see the month over month change in total revenue in percentage format. Perfect. This business intelligence indicator plays a vital role in gauging monthly performance in sales, marketing, or finance. See you in the next lecture. You can download the sales dataset that is available in video description of this lecture series. It's strongly recommended to revisit the previous lectures in case of any difficulty. Furthermore, you can find my WhatsApp and video description for any further support. Have a good day and see you in the next lecture.